back door. And you know, this is a shame. <laughs> Life is not what you possess. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, what, the, what, what did the Pharisee do with that? Luke 16 and 14 says, when the Pharisees heard that they made fun of Jesus, they ridiculed him because they love money. Whatever somebody else loves, that's why they're going to talk about you. Uh -huh. Child, you don't go out no more, they love to go out. <laughs> Child, you ain't clubbing no more, turn it up. Oh, you, are you in the church now? <laughs> you you church care now, huh? Uh -huh. You know why they're laughing at you? They love turning up. Yes. They love nothing in, in, in the street. Amen. 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 I saw a commercial uh, talking about uh, uh, how people love to do stuff in the dark. People look better in the dark till they come to the light. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff happening in the dark. Uh, yeah. That's why a lot of times mama wants you home with, for that street light going. Y'all remember that? How many remember that? Some of your old ones remember that? Yeah. Your mama wants you in that door. Yeah. If that street light come on, and you ain't inside the house, uh -oh. come on somebody. Yeah. Look what? The old, the family, they knew that in the dark stuff happened. Yeah. Are y'all with me here? Yeah, well, what that song say coming out back in the day? No, freaks do what? Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Some of y'all know that got freaky when it's going to get dark. Some of y'all say amen. Amen. Oh, uh, Lord, help us here. Amen. Uh, you ought you are to, to love people and you ought to use money. Listen here. Listen to me. You ought to love people and you ought to use money. Money is a tool. You never love money. You love people. You use money. If you start loving money, you're going to use people. Yeah. You're going to use people to get money if you love money. Money becomes toxic. Amen. And a lot of pastors and preachers love money. And they use the people in their church uh -huh. to get more money. Amen. And you know why? They love money. Everything they do is to get money. Uh -huh. And they'll come toxic. Somebody say amen. amen. And when you question about that money, Oh boy, they got, they got some words for you. Yes. They want to put you out. Yeah. You got to go. That's right, man. So I say amen. amen. But long as you go, yes, pastor, you right, pastor. Do what you want to do, pastor. We with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Jesus said that the Pharisees were full of greed on the inside. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, even wise people are fools if they let money change yes. their thinking. Amen. If you let money change how you think and how you act, Somebody say amen. Amen. Then pray to God that you a fool. Amen. Uh, number three. The number one thing that makes people toxic about not even not money is bitterness. Mm. Bitterness is being hurt and specifically bitter from rejecting God's grace. Oh. Grace is when God gives you what you need and not what you desire. Uh -huh. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And let me talk about that just a little bit. I gotta let you go. I don't know time is up. Grace is when God gave you what you need uh -huh. and not what you desire. Yes. When I came from Thomasville and I thought a full time ministry here, I wanted my really just wanted to work with my leaders there and <laughs> help them and build them up and do that work. Amen. That's what my desire was. But they didn't want me. They did everything in their power to keep me out of place. Uh -huh. To make me want to leave. To the point where they talked about me so bad, and when it got out, uh, they talked about somebody to me so badly. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. Called me all kind of things. Called churches that don't fellowship with me. Right? When I heard about it, it hurt me to the core. Yes. But it was my desire to work with them. Yes. And I took a lot of it. Uh huh. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. But see, I could have got bitter at God because, because that's what I desired. But God said, I have a need of you to be here. Amen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we can get bitter because God don't give you what you desire. He gives you what you need. Amen. And because you won't open your eyes and recognize and give God praise that he met your need, now you can pull me out of here. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. Now you can pull me They have to take the grace of God, the will of God to get me to leave here now. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. I love what God has located us. Amen. And God has planted us. Somebody say amen. amen. I love it. But I could have been bitter, Marcus, and said, I'm going to leave church. I ain't going to preach no more. And I'm going to leave people crazy. Amen. <laughs> I could have been bitter. But now God took the bitterness out of me, right? And now I got joy. Amen. But you know why? God gave me what I need. Amen. And not what I desire. How 
went and got, got, got what you need and not what you desire. And you all right with it. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, uh, you can do what Jesus did with the Pharisees, the types of people of his day. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, number one is, uh, this is how Jesus handled some people. Realize it's not about you. It was all possible, according to the Romans, amen. It depended upon you living at peace with everyone. Amen. It's not about you. That's how Jesus got along to uh, uh, help those people and try to help them. Remember now, if you read it uh, uh, about Pharisees, Jesus constantly tried to help them. Uh -huh. yeah. So I say amen. Because yeah. it ain't about you. That's why here at Big Gospel, we can help you. Yes. We want to help you. Uh -huh. It ain't about me. Right. Amen. amen. Number two, if you can, if it's possible, disconnect, let them go. The Pharisees went out and they plotted how they might kill Jesus. A word of this, Jesus withdrew from the, that place. If it's possible, let people go. Yes. Disconnect. Somebody say amen. Amen. If they are plotting to kill you, thank you, sir. I only got one person to say. If they are plotting to kill you, I got a few more. One more time. If they're plotting to kill you, Never. and you know they're trying to kill you, Never. why are you still there? Amen. 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 Number three. This is the last word. I'm going to stop right here. The last word. Refuse to play that game. So I'll give God a hand raise a minute. Amen. When they came out to mess with Jesus, he refused to play that game. Today, he said for God, Amen. It might take fasting and praying. It might take you really digging in God's word. But don't play their game. Amen. If they play a game with you, trying to trick you up and snare you up, stop playing their game. Yeah. Thank you, you're me. Let's go. It's almost one. It's, it's five minutes of war. We've done good. Amen.